Hello everyone, today we are going to check fresh book, as you can see it comes from Voila and Winx Publishing and it is part of Fireframe album. It's actually 15th book in this series and it is dedicated to uh, Britain's first jet fighter, it's a Gloucester Meteor and as we all know recently several companies presented their new kits in various scales so I think this book will be handy for a detailed build or maybe as a reference guide for your project it's a perfect choice but we are going to check it in this video review because it is interesting to take a look inside and see what is actually published in this book so first of all this book is in already available uh, for purchase on official online publishing website so if you want to buy it straight away just go to their website they should have it so this is a commercial sample so it means you get exactly the same book as you can see on the cover we have the picture of the airplane and it is actually a painting as far as you can see quite a nice one it is a soft cover book and as you can see it's a thick book because now um, first it was announced a smaller amount of pages but the final appearance includes 192 pages in total so it's quite hefty publication quite heavy one and on the rear side you can see the photos of the real aircraft in various markings in various conditions and also quite an interesting choice of the rear cover I would say so once again there are 192 pages in total and it is quite impressive in my opinion so let's open it and here you can see what is included inside so we have several sections there are four of them in total and we also have the appendix section which is dedicated to the kit list accessories list and bibliography for this particular uh, aircraft type it might be handy for um, let's say building the more or less detailed project. Of course everything starts with a glossary so as you can see we have here the full list of the used uh, short, and in, uh, short phrases so you will understand what is meant by this or this that uh, letters and preface is dedicated to the development history of this aircraft as you can see it's accompanied with black and white photos which will be handy for some interesting markings or maybe weathering um, ideas no matter which project or which scale you choose so as you can see there are plenty of pages dedicated to this um, chapter and as you can see here in introduction we have also division by drones also we had the on the previous pages it was a night fighter and etc etc then we go with the foreign service aircraft and as you can see here it's written Argentina then we go with Australia, Belgium and Brazil, Denmark, then here we go Egypt and France, Canada, Israel and South Africa, and Sweden and Netherlands. And also here you can see uh, some specification data for this aircraft and various options. Uh, next we go with technical description. This one will be handy for those who like to detail their aircraft models as much as it is possible. So here as you can see we have the drawings combined together with actual photos of the aircraft and also detailed explanation of what is this or that element in the cockpit is responsible for. So it's really cool even just to read so that you understand what uh, was used in design for this aircraft. As you can see there are uh, different types of the ejection seat for example so uh, here authors actually pay attention to such details and you understand which uh, version of the seat for example you should use in this or that marking of this aircraft and it's really nice to have also pictures of the museum um, aircraft so that you understand what feature looked like in real aircraft it's quite handy one I would say. So as you can see we continue with tailplanes, wings, engine, then we have the cannon and guns and also bombs and rockets, drop tanks, fuel and oil, radar, cameras, general section and then we go with access panels for various uh, versions of this aircraft. Nevertheless we can jump to the second chapter or second section of this 
book, as you can see, it is dedicated to the evolution of this aircraft. So here we get the detailed explanation of the main differences between various versions of this aircraft. This one will be handy for sure so that you understand uh, what is different on your aircraft and what is different on the one you would like to replicate in the scale. So that if you want to have a more or less precise copy of the real aircraft, check this section because it will be handy for sure. And as you can see, it is span on more than 10 pages. It is quite impressive how many types existed of the Meteor. And as you can see, we still go on. So in total, there are, let's count them. Just give me a second. 86 to 126. So 40 pages series uh, come dedicated only to those type differences between various versions. That's really impressive in my opinion. And I really appreciate that authors dedicated such huge amount of pages to this information, it will be handy for sure. Next, we have a camouflage and markings. So as you can see here, authors combine the uh, black and white photos together with cover profiles. Obviously, uh, here we will be also explained uh, why this or that camouflage was used on the aircraft. Here, by the way, you can see the aircraft finished in the silver. And also we have the traditional camouflage markings. Uh, here again, we have cover photos of the aircraft and I think again here you will be able to pick the marking if you are not as satisfied with what is provided in the plastic kit then you just check this section and find some aftermarket decals for this or that marking option for your Meteor. Here by the way you can see the stencil placement which is also handy because not every manufacturer provides all the stencils in kits and no matter what scale still you meet some of the kits where some stencils are not provided so you can replicate them with your own hands. <clears throat> Here we have also a separate section dedicated to the foreign service so it might be interesting for those who don't like to um, or maybe like to replicate some unusual markings so they just check this and they will be happy to see, to find something unusual, let's say. So we can see the Syrian Air Force. Nevertheless, um, here we start with model section. So uh, authors de decided to build the Dragon kit in 170 second scale. Here you can see the final result. But as usual for this series, we get the um, Absolutely detailed explanation, I would say, so that you understand what was done here and there. And I would like to increase the ISO a bit so that you can see more in this video. So now you should be able to see it. As you can see, we have the detailed photos as well as really extensive explanation uh, or description of the assembly process so that you understand why it was done like this, not the other way. Nevertheless, the most important thing here, in my opinion, is that um, this book includes the fresh plastic from Airfix. Um, as you remember, this kit is molded in 148 scale. It is quite detailed as all latest kits from this company. So here you can see the assembly process. And the final result looks really good, in my opinion. Okay. And next, we have the list of the kits list of accessories, list of decals, and of course, squadrons. I think there should be also somewhere the books list. So here we have the squadrons list, and here we have the books list, which will be handy as well if you plan to read something else about this aircraft. So once again, 192 pages in total. And the final price, I mean the retail price, will be approximately 19 British pounds plus postage and packing. So I think it is quite a reasonable amount to ask for such publication. And of course it will be an interesting book, not only if you plan to build this aircraft, but also if you would like to know more about this aircraft. In one book you get everything at once, and I think that's a really precious publication, and I would recommend to add it to your 
collection. Of course, I will be happy to hear your opinion about such book, write it here in the comment section below. Don't forget that you can support us financially by pressing the donate button on our website and sending money via PayPal. Of course, you will decide the final amount which will be sent to us. And if you like this video, press the like button, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and I will see you in the next video review as usual. Bye.